Are you ready to see how the power of AI can turn your ideas into amazing blog posts with framework? Well, good news for you. Today, I'm going to give you my full process as a blogger using BrainWorks AI Writing Assistant and show you how to go from blank page to fully written article. Well, our first step is to sign into BrainWork. Once you sign into BrainWork, you will need to find the keyword research tab. This is where you will go after you've decided what keywords you want to write on. To begin your new search, you can click on the purple new search button. And here is where you would type in your desired keyword and then hit search. For the purpose of our demonstration today, we're going to use the keyword JetBlue carry on bag size. Once you click the search button, you'll be able to review the keyword results and see if it's worth writing about. From this point, you have two options. You can click on explain keyword data where Nova will give you its analysis on the keyword and suggestions about how to move forward. By clicking on Nova, there will be a detailed analysis, recommendation, and other relevant information about your keyword. Or you can continue to look at the data as listed here on the page, such as the volume, competition, difficulty, and the results on the search engine results page. You'll also see a bar graph of the keyword trends for the past year. When you're preparing to write your blog post, it's important to take a look at the secondary keywords to add to your article. These keywords are additional subject matter that readers will need to know in order to make your content complete. For example, you could add JetBlue carry-on bag size limit and JetBlue carry-on size bag to help flesh out the article. To take your blog post to the next level, you can look at other questions people ask and are searching for on Google, such as what size bag can I carry on or what size can a carry-on bag be for JetBlue? Blue. By adding these people also ask questions, it can help increase your chances of getting more traffic to your website. And of course, you want to make your content even better. So looking at the top 10 ranked posts on Google, you can look at your competitors to see if there's any room for you to improve on the content they've created and make your content an even better guide. So once you're happy with the keyword that you've selected, you can click new posts and our writing assistant lets us know that based on this topic, the output AI generate should be good quality. So let's press continue. Here is our blog post builder. As we enter this area, you'll notice that pretty much everything is blank, but our I writing assistant is ready to help us. So let's first start with the title. By clicking on the title, and if at any time you want to toggle your AI assistant on or off, you can click here to give you more space in the blog post builder. For more details about the other icons, be sure to look at our blog post, which is listed in the description below. So let's go ahead and get that generated title by clicking on generate. Here, it will bring up a couple of options. Once you find your click worthy headliner, you will hit the plus button to add your title to your post, or you can select generate more if you don't see a title that you like. And here's a tip. Although BrainWork automatically saves your article, I always like to hit save throughout my writing process just to be on the safe side. Our next step is to start writing. Now that you've made it this far, I'm going to go through a sample article with you and show you how to create your article right here on BrainWork. I always start out with the first sentence, kind of like a problem that the reader may have that I've experienced myself. And it also helps the AI assistant to know better how to help you with your writing and to create better content for you. It's always a good idea to start with any piece of content you write by always researching the topic prior to writing with brain work. So now that we have given the AI assistant a little to work with, we can go to create our outline by toggling AI assistant to help us with our intro and outline. If you would like your blog post to be in a FAQ style outline, you can simply toggle this on or off. I'm pretty happy with this outline, so I will use the introduction to help strengthen my own first sentence. So let's click the plus to insert into the editor. Now that we have our outline, to start generating the content with the help of the AI assistant, we can highlight 
of our points, but we have to be sure that it's between 10 and 100 characters. Let me make an edit here to condense this a bit. There we go. And as you can see, the AI writing assistant is writing some content for us to use in our introduction. So let's clean this up a bit and use our magic spacer to break up this wall of text. And we can continue this for the following sections. You can also highlight the headers to create paragraphs. But an important step you must not forget is to double check your information. As you can see, this article will, will require for me to do research, look at the current guidelines of the airline, and make sure that all the information is accurate. When it comes to hardcore facts, numbers, and statistics, we always want to double check the information before publishing our blog posts. This is something to always keep in mind, especially if you want to create high quality content. And so the AI assistant can help us with the fact checker. Let's click on it and see what it says about this particular sentence that gives us facts about JetBlue's carry on bag dimensions. As you can see, it may take up to a minute depending on the information being checked and each run of the fact checker will reduce your AI words based on the information that is searched. After the fact checker has run, we can see the claim being made, whether it is factual or not, the reasoning behind it, any errors, and you can toggle to see any evidences as well as sources. Let's check one more about the weight restrictions for carry-on bags for this particular airline. In this instance, we see the claim and the correction because the fact checker is telling us that this information is not factual. And the reason is because both pieces of evidence clearly state that JetBlue does not currently have a weight restriction for carry-on bag. This directly contradicts the claim made in the text. And so we can, again, look at the evidences. And what we see here is that it's not a weight restriction, but it is a size restriction. JetBlue does not specify weight limit. If you wanted to look into this further, you could look at the sources for yourself. So let's correct this sentence in our blog post by using the correction in its place. And to ensure that we're not plagiarizing, let's rewrite it. Our next step is to continue expanding on the article. As you can see, I've gone through to the next heading and added some additional content and even use the spacer to help me make it more readable. You can use the additional brain work features to flesh out your content, such as the listicle option, which has allowed us to give more detail to this section of our blog post. And so I can take this out and bring lots of value to the reader. And let's say you're kind of stuck. You can instruct the AI assistant to help you finish this sentence with the write more button. By following these tips, passengers can ensure that they have everything they need without overpacking. I just wanted to finish that particular sentence, so I'm going to take that out. Or I could control the output length by regenerating and selecting small, so the output is only up to 50 words. Another feature you can use is highlighting a sentence and rewriting it in case you just want to rephrase the thought a little differently. As usual, I will still rework all of this to add my own voice and to add any additional information that I feel is needed. Okay, so our next step is to improve the article. Maybe instead of having a list like this, we can turn each one of these tips into an H3. Again, this will allow anyone who is skimming your article to determine if this content is relevant and important for them. With framework, you can always think of ways to enhance your article, make it more readable, and get to your first draft much quicker than on your own. Then we want to make our final edits. Here you'll see that I made a note and highlighted it so I could go back over the content and decide if I wanted to rewrite or add any more information into my blog post. As I go through my final checks, I review the SEO analyzer to see if there are any other opportunities for me to improve this guide for a higher chance of ranking on the search engine like Google. For example, it gives us suggestions for increasing our SEO score by ensuring that our keyword is in our title, the keyword is in the introduction, 
the keyword is found in headings and so on. If you find that you are not meeting some of these suggestions for increasing your SEO, you can easily add keywords by toggling to the keyword section of the AI Assistant, and you can easily add them in by typing or simply clicking plus sign to insert it in the editor. Now let's toggle back to our SEO tab in the AI Assistant and select our featured image by clicking on this outlined rectangle and it will take us to a dashboard where it's sourced with unsplash images that you can use freely in your blog post. You can search by typing in a relevant search term and find a featured image that fits your content and your blog brand. I'm going to select this one and what's really neat is that the AI assistant has already added alt text and a title as well as a description. Be sure to update it and or save. At this point, you can continue to review your article with Brainwork or use your favorite plagiarism checker to make sure that your blog post is unique. You can do that by simply highlighting sections and using the plagiarism checker. Be sure to preview to see if you like your finished product. And here it is. If you're pleased with it, you have the option to download your article and use one of the following options. You can also copy all and paste into a Google document if you want to back up your work and you will always have your article saved in Brainwork. And there you have it. You have officially created your blog post with Brainwork. And if you'd like more resources, be sure to check out the description below for other relevant videos and content.